Question 2.1 consists of eight finance questions that were designed to assess your ability to interpret financial statements. You are given a levy statement for a rental property in Annex A. The levy statement shows the reference that this person must include in the payment information when making payment to the body corporate. There is a missing value labeled A. This is the balance after this payment was made. The total amount due for the statement is 2340 Rand 73 cents. This value includes 15% VAT. This means that VAT has already been included in this amount. The standard levy for June 2021 is 1498 Rand 63 cents. This amount is part of the total amount due. This statement includes bank details so the client can make electronic bank payments or EFTs if they prefer to make payments that way. Note that no cash payments are allowed. The levy CSOS is given as 30 Rand 90 cents for June and July. In question 211, you have to write down the reference statement that must be used when making payments. From the statement, the reference number for this person is BGD0016. In question 212, you are instructed to give one reason why the reference numbers are used when making payments. Reference numbers are important because it makes it easy to identify which client made payments to their account. In question 213, you have to calculate the missing value A that has been left out of the statement. Since the credits are considered negative values, you have to find the difference between the previous balance and the payment amount that was made. So the new balance of A is 3,205 Rand 51 cents minus 3,206 Rand and this equals a negative value of 49 cents. The negative sign is important. It means that the person overpaid and the body corporate now owes the client 49 cents. In question 214, you are told that the total amount due on this invoice is VAT inclusive. The VAT as a percentage is 15%. You have to calculate the VAT exclusive amount. This is the amount before VAT is added. The VAT inclusive amount is equal to 2340 Rand 73 cents and as a percentage it's equal to 115%. This is because the VAT inclusive amount equals the VAT exclusive amount of 100% plus 15% VAT. You can use this formula for calculating the VAT exclusive amounts if you are given the VAT inclusive amounts and the VAT percentage. The VAT exclusive amount equals the VAT inclusive amount multiplied by 100% divided by 115%. The VAT exclusive amount equals the VAT inclusive amount of 2340 Rand 73 cents multiplied by 100% over 115%. And this gives you a VAT exclusive amount of 2035 Rand 42 cents. In question 215, you have to calculate the standard levy for June as a percentage of the amount due on the statement. You also have to round the answer off to two decimal places. The standard levy for June is this amount of 1498.63 and the amount due on the statement is 2340.73. You can use this formula to calculate the standard levy as a percentage of the amount due. So the percentage equals 1498 Rand 63 cents divided by 2340 Rand 73 cents multiplied by 100% and this equals this value. Rounding this value to two decimal places will give you a percentage of 64,02%. In question 216, you are asked to write down the possible payment option the body corporate will accept. The body corporate will accept electronic bank payments or check payments. Also note that they don't accept cash payments and if you wrote down cash payment as an option, you will be marked incorrect. In question 217, you are instructed to calculate the total amount collected by the body corporate if all 49 units in the complex paid the levy CSOS for July 2021. The total amount collected is equal to the CSOS levy amount of 30 Rand 90 cents multiplied by the total number of units of 49 and this will give you a total amount of 1514 Rand 10 cents. In question 218, you have to calculate the new standard levy after an increase of 6,45% from the 1st of August 2021. 
If the standard levy in July is considered to be 100% as a percentage, then the new levy in August will be equal to 100% plus the 6.45% increase in August. This will give you a percentage of 106.45% of the July levy. So the new levy in August will be 1,498 rand 63 cents multiplied by 106.45% over 100%. And this will give you a new levy of 1,595 rand 29 cents. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. And you can check out this video next.